at only 6,020 pounds. This full upgraded Liberty Edition Freedom Express here at Halet RV, this is a monster rear living couple's dream coach right here. If you'd like to see if we have one in stock and available, all you need to do is visit the link in the video description. It says check for price and availability. You'll see if we have one in stock, how we have it equipped, because it could be very different from what you see here. <clears throat> Pardon me, in terms of equipment. And uh, you'll see uh, what we're asking. And we clearly publish pricing. And we don't do hidden dealer fees. All that fun stuff being said, let's actually have some fun. So the Freedom Express series is a personal favorite of mine. I'm very sweet on them personally, which I'm not supposed to be. I'm supposed to be very biased or unbiased and impartial. But they've earned my admiration because they are extremely well executed. Like, you've got this huge front storage compartment. They made this a big deal in ultralight RVs. They were the ones that made this standardized, this 42 cubic foot of storage space up front. They're the ones that made other brands chase nice. See that they include a picnic table. Since their 50th anniversary edition, they include an inside-outside picnic table, and it actually does have full-length LED lighting that does run uh, along the length of the uh, um, oh, storage compartment there. Now, uh, you see we've got the nicer slam latches, the magnet catches and whatnot. Some of these things uh, are just standard Freedom Express things, and some of these are Liberty Edition upgrades, such as uh, Liberty Edition, basically, think of it like a trim package upgrade. Um, you're going from the LT to the LX, effectively ultralight. The full nose cap with the uh, the awesome looking, I call it uh, rolling uh, Malibu beach house graphic package they have here. As good as this looks on the outside, it looks 10 times better inside. I mean, and if you can't wait, use a little track bar at the bottom of the video and skip there. It is worth it. Um, so uh, there are several different brands who build floor plans like this. Why the Freedom Express? Why am I so hot to trot on them? That's what I want to focus on. The biggest thing is they are built for you, the owner. They're not built for me, the guy who talks about them. Now, they have a lot of fun facets for me to discuss, but when you actually own one of these, you understand that they're, they're built with the owner in mind first. Now, the Liberty Edition, we pick up full automatic stabilizing. Uh, right here, you've got your... Actually, it looks like a power tongue jack, but this is actually your little control head. It's got like a little uh, toolbox flip top on this here. You unlock that, and what's neat is you can uh, lock that so that passers-by can't mess with your jacks. But uh, you have push-button stabilization. You know, your front tongue jack will do the leveling. The rear stabilizers will, or, and front and rear stabilizers will come down to just kind of keep the RV from rocking around. Now, uh, Freedom Express, just like their uh, their sister, the Apex Ultralights that we carry, uh, carry here at Halet RV, they have a tongue-mounted spare tire which is not common in the industry. Again, that's because this is built for you, not for me, not for my convenience, for your benefit. Tongue-mounted spare tires offer superior uh, stabilization in transit because weight up front tows better than weight in the back. Talk to any boat fisherman who misloaded his boat and he'll confirm that for you very quickly. Um, the uh, uh, other thing that tongue-mounted spare tire does is it leaves the rear bumper wide open so that if you want to add a bike rack or an accessory tray or whatever, you can do that. Now remember again, the one that we have in stock could be a little different from this one. So don't hesitate to visit our website or give our team a call to see what we have. We do have a uh, enclosed forced air heated underbelly. This has a full walk-on roof structure. Um, you've got uh, laminated uh, aluminum framed walls and floor. You've got an aluminum perimeter roof with uh, wood truss roofing and a uh, 3 8 walk-on roof deck. And that's a very interesting roof combination I've only really seen here on the Freedom Express RVs. And they, they do an aluminum perimeter so that it marries up better with aluminum sidewall because then you get true flush to flush surface connection. Uh, whereas a wood uh, perimeter roof could actually have some uh, wiggle variance to it because not all they, wood is flat, you know. Um, and, you know, someone's going to say, well, it's an ultralight. Why do they use wood roofing? Isn't aluminum better? Well, wood's an awesome insulator. Wood can also deflect. So if you live in an area where you get heavy snow load, uh, northern U.S., Canada, for instance, um, this can actually hold up to a big snowpack on top of it. I love the centralized hookups of this thing right here. Um, you've got well, you've got your sewer hookups in the back, but all your like park uh, electrical uh, hookups and your outside shower are back here. 
And uh, I mean, they very they, they could have easily shoved all that stuff to the front of the RV, but again, being built for the owner and not built for the dealership, that makes more sense because most of your hookups at, at a park are back in this rear corner. They're not up there. It's actually one of the deficiencies I've recognized in a lot of fifth wheels. The hookups are in the wrong spot, so you always have to buy big extension cords and expensive extra stuff. You don't really have to do that here. Um, all the windows open for ventilation. You can also see they're obviously very heavily tinted. That keeps the sun out, which keeps the RV cooler, gives you more privacy. And like I said, all windows, including both sofa side window here and slide side window on the left, open for airflow. While I'm standing here, this also benefits from a, a really cool seal gripping, leak preventing slide system. You see that really textured skin right there, like a fingerprint. And then they also have a, uh, a T-shaped slide wiper seal so that there's more surface area to grab that slide wall so the wiper seal actually does its job going in and or out. Uh, I mentioned the walk-on roof. I think we're good back here. Let's uh, whip around to the other side real quick. Let's talk Asdell. Asdell is the layer of material below the fiberglass skin in the side and rear wall construction of uh, a Freedom Express RV. And what it is doing for you is it is lighter than wood, it cannot rot, mold, mildew. Um, it's not less expensive, but it is, it's just, it, it, it's really hard for this wall to delaminate because the wall is now basically water repellent instead of water absorbent. It's a huge facet here. Um, the other thing with this while I'm outside, and you'll see it more inside because I like talking about this, is uh, an exclusive feature in the ultralight world really is found here on the Freedom Expresses, and that's that they're taller inside. This has six foot nine inch sidewalls as opposed to six and a half foot. And that's interior measurements, by the way, not exterior. But what that gives you is more clearance in the shower, more uh, slide out height, taller cabinets. This isn't a bunkhouse, but it give you bigger bunks. Another thing they do here, which is just really sharp looking, is this uh, aluminum hickory step. Hickory steps are nice because uh, they don't, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to screw your fingers up with them. Um, you know, you can ask any husband, we can screw up something bad enough that eventually, you know, we're going to hurt ourselves. But aluminum, it's lighter weight as compared to steel. It's also not going to corrode like potential steel would. Outside TV hookups here next to these wide stance stability axles, which is another reason this thing tows so very well. There are a lot, a lot of lightweights have wide stance axles. And if you talk to RV delivery drivers, they say these things tow great. Uh, you know, I don't feel like I'm getting as much push from the trailer behind me. Now a little trailer like this compared to a big dually that these things get delivered on, which is funny watching them come in. That truck can handle anything you, you throw at it. But the fact is, even that guy with that overkill truck still likes what he sees here. Now this is a, just a funny little pocket. They just opened it up because they could. You know, there was no sense in wasting it. It's not huge and it gives you access to some plumbing type things on the inside. But the fact is they didn't want to waste anything. I don't think I talked about the little solar prep connection point right here, but hey, there you go. Um, I think we're pretty good. Let me take one more step back to make sure I didn't miss anything. And yeah, let's hop inside. Big awning on that too. It just kind of occurred to me. That's got a big patio awning. Holy cow. Again, as nice as it is on the outside, it pales in comparison to what the interior of the 279 Freedom here at Halitz offers. I, I've, I've loved this model since I first saw the original concept because it makes more sense to me. For so many years, the most popular couples camper had two chairs in the back, a football field away from the entertainment center, with a sofa and a dinette in a big slide. Why, in a couples coach, do I need two chairs, a sofa, and a dinette? I don't need three seats to sit two people. This is so much more efficient, smart here. But again, just like the exterior, Freedom did a couple extra little things to really, really drive home. Because again, what is the message that I have here on this Freedom Express? Not made for me, made for you. And they have really accomplished that. Again, all the windows open for ventilation. Remember, it is taller in here. This has six foot nine uh, interior ceiling height. Uh, and that is uh, true all the way across the RV. So that means that we have a taller slide out, we have taller cabinets, uh, you know, a bigger shower. So this is an industry exclusive, very tall person friendly ultralight. And that's the being big person friendly is what this RV does very well. And that is not a common facet for lightweight trailers. Now there are different furniture arrangements, but I think we hit a home run right here. Uh, there's a, a standard bifold rear sofa. You can upgrade to a trifold sofa. But we said, no, 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 no. We don't need uh, a, a rear sleeper sofa and 
a big, like, 84-inch dinette or whatever this giant U dinette is. We don't need all that extra sleeping for a couple's coach. We need mom and dad, grandpa and grandma, whoever owns this, you need to take care of you first. And we said, put a theater seat back there. And dang it if I don't feel like we made the right decision. Because that, it looks sharp. I, and because they have so much room, because this is capable of handling a big sofa, you've got that full-size center armrest and storage console with the dual cup holders. Even a little bonus storage compartment down here. I don't know, maybe that'd be good for, you know, it'd be good down there. That'd be a great place to hide phone chargers. Ooh, that's what, kind of what I did at my house at home. Uh, you got the dual stands here with the big open side storage. Those are full storage stands, by the way. And they're big dinner plate friendly. And they're up at the right height, what I consider the right height. So you can actually set stuff on them and not have to, you can see what you're doing. You're not guessing, you're not dropping stuff. You have a better look. All the windows open for ventilation. Taller windows, because we have a taller trailer, remember. Um, the uh, let's, let's flip gears here. Now, I wish I could leave these windows open for you, but the sun is absolutely killing me. But really, it gave me a perfect opportunity to talk about something I often fail to talk about because I don't see it. And that is the nicer uh, like roller sheets like you get in like a diesel pusher luxury fifth wheel here in this ultralight couples camper. That is a cool facet. Now, you've got cool little LED accent lighting under those uh, full Liberty Edition full extension drawers. And that actually ties into the same switch as the cool little accent light panel above the TV here. But this slide is another area where Freedom Express took it up a notch. And at a glance, you're like, what are you talking about? It's a, it's a dinette slide. Yes, but they included like this huge two foot of extended slide out. That gives you extra storage, because that's full storage. That gave you more open negative space, so the RV looks and feels bigger. It gave you more places to put stuff. And there's never too much room for stuff, you know. Liberty Edition does give you the full extension drawers. Review our website if you'd like to see the various configurations of this dinette. Uh, obviously, it's a big full-size, uh, you know, sleep or sitting dinette where you can sit for adults, not a, a three-place pretend you dinette. But um, the table's free-floating, as you can see. That can fold down into a sleeper. You can use it like a picnic table, although you got a picnic table included with this. You could use it like a coffee table, a kitchen island. It's very multifunctional. But they gave you 100% access to all of the storage in the seating of this model. So these, pardon me, these are full extension drawers again. And they include these handy little sliding panels so that you can get to the storage in the rear bench. I don't know if anybody else is doing that. I don't understand why that is such a rare feature. Now, if you kind of look where this cushion sort of popped up here a little bit, you can see plywood. Because again, nicer materials are going into this. This is made to be a very long-lasting, sharp-looking RV. Now, whether you're sitting in the slide out where I'm at currently, or you're sitting in the rear theater seat, you've got awesome entertainment options, and that TV can pivot out to face the rear entertainment. Last year, Freedom Express started using bigger TVs as well. Liberty Edition, we're going to pick up that nice electric space heating, quote, fireplace. And there's a big, deep phone charging station just to the right of that Bluetooth DVD player right there. And it's small, but it's effective. Shoe garage, ladies and gentlemen. My old favorite shoe garage. You may notice there's no cuts in the floor. There's no heat vents in the floor. Freedom Express uses cabinet ducted heating so that you don't have to worry about uh, dirt and debris getting caught in little floor vents down in here. Technically, floor vented heating would be theoretically more efficient, but this is such a small cubic foot of space, it just don't matter. Now, they have brightened up the woodwork in here significantly compared to previous generations of Freedom Express. This was a big polar shift for them. They were very cautious doing it, but they went all in. They, they really... Said, we're going to do this. We're going to do it big. And they did it. And it looks so much lighter, brighter, better, bigger in here. All the B words. All the good ones, anyway. So, uh, Liberty Edition, compared to standard Freedom Express, picks us up the larger 8 cubic foot fridge and freezer. Although, remember, again, we always have taller overhead cabinets due to the extra interior height. Liberty Edition is also getting us that solid surface countertop. We've got a recessed stone cast sink, which is 500 degree rated. Let me give you a peek at that. Man, that is a heavy-duty cover right there. That is the real McCoy. That's a real deal. Now, that little open alcove right here, I love that. And the reason I love it, it's the perfect space for a wastebasket. I think that's one of the smartest things they did here. But again, that's that's Freedom Express, doing Freedom Express things. They they just get it. You've got triple full extension uh, you know, kitchen drawers right here. Give you a good peek at them, because they did not waste any of that potential deep counter space. Then you have my favorite... 
and uh, as I have coined it, the utensil drawer. And it's the perfect place for all of your, uh, you know, utensils and organizers and things like that. Your uh, fork, spoons, knives have the perfect spot for it. New oven that just started rolling out in the Freedom Expresses at the time of this filming anyway. With, uh, you know, this is recessed so that you have maximum prep space here. But it's also got cool little blue LED accent lights here. And that is a real tile backsplash. Kitchen breeze window also gives you perfect look right under the uh, uh, awning. And look at this interesting little sprayer faucet thing that they got going on here. So this can pop out. And this is a, a full flexi hose, basically. So you can make that thing get in all kinds of weird angles, clean pots and pans, do whatever you got to do with it. That is cool. That is different. That is smart. These big windows here, they don't open for air. They're just here for tons and tons of light, and they are doing their job remarkably well. Batteries blinking at me. I got to move. Bathroom rocks. This bathroom rocks. They killed it. Huge floor space, big porcelain foot flush stool, and a huge fifth wheel shower that you can walk into, not a tub you have to climb into, with a nice little corner seat. And remember, extra tall, extra gum. <laughs> uh, handy little uh, uh, little wet towel hanger, you know, uh, anything like that, robe hanger if you, if you have a bathrobe. Holy crap, holy crap, look at the thickness of that interior. That's like a four inch interior wall. Oh my God, that's really thick. Um, Obviously caught me off guard. Now, in the kitchen, we have uh, solid surface countertops. Whether it's the dining table, the bathroom top, or anything else, you're going to get thermal foil, which is still waterproof. Now, it's not just extra tall. It also has an extra long bed. We have a privacy door here, by the way. But we have a full 80-inch true queen bed here. You can walk around it. The bed does lift for storage. You've got side stands for storage. You have dual mirrored hanging closets, full overhead storage. Um, you've got an extra vent above the bed for airflow here. You can hang a uh, TV across the wall from the bed. But one of the things I like about this, oh, two things up here. Uh, so all Freedom Expresses have your little dual element reading lights where if you hold the button, you get a nice bright glow. But up here in the headboard area, and they could do this headboard because it has a full cap, you have an extra little spotlight and USB plugs. And that is exactly where my phone's going to go because my phone's my charger, my notifier, my everything. And it gives me perfect, easy access to reach that thing. I think we made it through before the battery died. It'd be funny if it died in just a second here, but I think we're going to make it. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about this, visit our website so you can review the one that we have in stock and available. If, we're, if you don't see it on our website, it's because we're out. We don't bait and switch people. But we do everything else, such as hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer packs package deals and everything in between. So, uh, it doesn't matter where you live. We make deals happen. We have sent these uh, looking at the, both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. You know, it doesn't matter what quarter of our, our nation or even up in Canada. We make, a, we make things happen, guys. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haley RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.